Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about the 4230 again and we are going to take the engine out and strip it down to the block and if you stick around to the middle of the video Jake is actually going to tell you guys his favorite part of a restoration and towards the end of the video um, I'm going to show you guys my favorite way to get a broken bolt out of a casting or anything like that so uh, stick around and we'll get into it. six of them. My favorite part, doing tractor restoration, putting a steering wheel cap on. And it's got to be the right one. This is the correct one for 4430. I'll make this quick. There we go. Wow. Done. Professional.
was turning a lot easier than the last tool we tried to use. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now it's pulling harder. Yeah, we just caught number two now. The first week to work. So we're only pulling one at a time. No, you're pulling both of them. You're pulling this first one too? Mm -hmm. yeah. If I put them in, I do them one at a time. This guy right here is snapped off on the outside. I took some heat to it to try to get it out and uh, didn't want to go. So I'm not too scared about that. We can heat this back up again uh, around this here plug. Um, and then what I've done before is use the, the nut trick if you guys know that. If not, you guys are about to learn. But you just weld the nut onto here and use that nut to, to twist it out. That's the plan. Last night we pulled the liners out and we pulled um, the pistons, the rods, uh, the camshaft, camshaft bearings. Uh, so pretty much all that's left is getting these plugs out, hitting it with the pressure washer with some hot water, and then sending it off to the hot tank for those guys to work on it, uh, get it all clean, and then we'll take the head to the same place and they'll uh, redo the head and then we should be ready for, for assembly. So, oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get that plug out and we'll keep on going. Okay, so let's go over what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, <clears throat> if you can see here, this is twisted off and there's nothing left to grab anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and use what I call the nut trick. Um, so basically we'll take a torch and we'll heat up this outside area to loosen up any rust or anything like, like we tried to do the first time. We'll do it again for this round. The key to this is having everything ready to go. So as soon as you shut your torch off and drop it, you need to have your nut ready and a pair of uh, vice grips ready to go like that. And then we're basically gonna take our welder while everything is still hot and run until, or run the welder so it welds the nut to that leftover piece in there um, and basically run that welder until that nut is full um, with weld. And then as it's still warm, we'll get a wrench on there and kind of work it back and forth and see if we can't get the rest of that plug out. So uh, I'll back the camera up and we'll give her a go and see if we can't get her out.
think we may have a winner. Maybe I spoke too soon, I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. There's our plug. That trick works pretty good as long as you're quick. You know, you got to keep everything warm, keep everything working. So, got it out, and that's we got one more we got to take out. That's where the turbo um, return line is going to go. We got to get that one out, and then we can pressure wash it, and that'll be it. Well, one thing's for sure, and that's that it was too cold to be washing outside. But we got her done, got it good enough for it to go to the hot tank. It'll spend however long it takes for those guys to get it done. It depends on their schedule and everything. So uh, we'll send it off to them. We'll send the head with it, and they'll go through the head and regrind anything that needs to be reground and just check tolerances and stuff like that. So they'll get all that done, and get this done and then once that's done they'll we'll go and pick it up bring it back and part four will start so um, this is the end of part three um, part four will be reassembling the engine and that's gonna be a little bit longer of a video I think I think my plan now is that part four is gonna be almost like a, a walkthrough or a tutorial or something and we'll take take you guys and myself through every step um, through the book and through all the specs in case anybody out there is rebuilding a 4230 or anybody later wants to use this as a reference um, that'll be that's kind of my plan so far so it's not set in stone but that's kind of what I'm thinking um, but yeah so that's it for part three thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one thank you